Okay, hello everyone. I'm Daisuke Ikeda. I'm from Tokyo. I'm glad to be come back here again since 2012. This, uh, this, today's my talk theme is Advanced Shift Ops by Using High Crops. <coughs> At our usual work, we are developing some OSS tools so as to make the management of system operation more effective. Today, I want to introduce you about what we are considering in, in our activities. And I show you uh, the roadmap of high crops. High crops is, uh, is hybrid cloud management plugin for Zabbix. This is OSS tool. Before going in, let me give you a brief information about myself. I belong to uh, OSS promotion office in TIS. TIS is one of the largest system integrators in Japan. Our division, uh, <coughs> our division provides OSS support service and development some OSS tools. My main work, my main mission is to provide Zabbix support service to Zabbix users in Japan. Another mission is to achieve effective SysOps. Today's my talk is based on the latter mission. As one of the recent activities, I had written a book about Zabbix. Uh, in this book, I introduced uh, the effective of use the effective of use Zabbix in crowd and the virtual environment. If you are interested in it, please check this Amazon page. But uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, only Japanese. <laughs> okay, then I begin the main contents. Uh, three years ago in Zabbix conference 2012, I talked about Zabbix for hybrid cloud management. At this talk, I introduced that we were developing the tool to make the monitoring operation for hybrid cloud environment more convenient by the, using Zabbix. <coughs> we have recognized the integration of all data and the automation of some operations are very important in managing a hybrid cloud environment. Therefore, we were implementing the features to monitor AWS and vSphere environment automatically by using Zabbix API and Zabbix Sender. After this conference, we have released this tool is named High Crops for Zabbix <coughs> as OSS at July 2013. High Crops for Zabbix have three features by calling AWS API and vSphere API regularly, Zabbix monitored the AWS EC2 instances status and vSphere VMs status automatically. And it, uh, it, uh, it registers Zabbix host and updates or deletes automatically. By customizing Zabbix dashboard, you can see the list of instances, these instance statuses at this dashboard. In addition, you can operate for multiple instances on this dashboard at once. <coughs> okay, this is Hycrops High, customized Zabbix dashboard. You can see the summary information for each environment, AWS and vSphere. <clears throat> for example, the number of in learning instances and stopped instances. In the case of AWS, the billing information too. <clears throat> in this way, uh, if you want to operate uh, some instances, all you have to do is to turn on checkbox and 
click execute button. It is very simple. In addition, by cooperating with Gate1, Gate1 is a web based terminal emulator. This is OSS tool. You can connect to the target host from this dashboard directory. These customization might be easier at the VIX 3.0, so I'm looking for it. Although we have developed such a tool, we try to reconsider. Is it enough to simply integrate and automate the tasks uh, which ex have been executed manually? I think not enough. <clears throat> of course, it was just it, but there is um, no change in the internal process. <clears throat> the only difference is whether human do or pro program code do. <clears throat> in Tabix 2.2, Premier Auto Monitoring features has, has implemented, so we think and the other value is required to high crops. <clears throat> As you know, nowadays, base infrastructure has changed physical machine to virtual environment, cloud service, multi cloud environment, and the container environment, for example, Docker. Because of this change, <clears throat> service provider have come to remove the broken resource and deploy new resources continuously so as to keep service level. Namely, the status of entire service system is more important rather than the status of each server. In this situation, conventional simple threshold-based monitoring might be limit, I think. In our concept, to achieve more advanced value, it is important not only to use Zabbix well, but also to cooperate with some variable OSS and services. Zabbix is specialized monitoring, so Zabbix ha doesn't have job management features. <coughs> I think job management features should be treated in the other tool. For example, we are paying attention to job scheduler. Job scheduler <coughs> sorry, is OSS job controlling software. In this way, high crops should be developed to become a hub tool to achieve advanced value like, like this. <coughs> under, our, under this concept, we have developed uh, some small trials in these three years. <clears throat> One is Cloud Module for Zabbix. This tool co corrects some cloud service statuses, EC2 instance information and CloudWatch information automatically. This is developed as Zabbix Rollable Module. <clears throat> The architecture is similar to that of the big VMware monitoring. So this module consists of discovery process and cache memory. I have developed in GitHub. Please check it. Next one is high crops job monitoring. The purpose of this tool is to achieve the cooperation with of Zabbix and, uh, and Job Scheduler. This tool has three features, monitoring job elapsed time in Zabbix and monitoring job failure, failure information in Zabbix in, and adjusting the threshold of the Zabbix trigger automatically during job execution. These features are uh, realized by each API, Zabbix API and Job Scheduler API. We recognize 
The job is very important in the system operation. There are two types of high load status in services. The one is caused by increase of user access. Another one is caused by execution some internal batch process. So, <coughs> Especially, the latter cause is uh, will be resolved by the cooperation with job management and monitoring. Sorry. Okay. And this is the architecture of auto adjusting Javix trigger. Before main job change trigger job is set, this job disables original trigger and creates the new threshold trigger. And after main job, return trigger job enables original triggers and the new delete new threshold trigger. In this way, by controlling job operation well, the system operation will be more effective. For reference about the job scheduler, if you are if you want to know details, please check this doc published document after the conference. Okay, last one is proxy scheduler. This tool uh, judge which proxy should monitor the agent host and the setting of proxy update automatically. I don't have I don't talk details today. Time to considerations. But in largest distributed system, the concept of this tool will be more efficient. As I talked here, we developed these individual elements in three in these three years. Now these tools are not fused and each of effect is low. Then we are we are planning to integrate the, these two results as high crops. At first, we are redesigning the base architecture of high crops for Zabbix. We think the base of operations consists of three steps. One is the step of discovering something and the step of uh, processing to these discovered data. And the last, the step of registration to Zabbix or something else. These processes can be executed in the wake of various event occurring. These three steps will be implemented as base classes. And the subclasses of these base classes will be implemented pluggable so as to keep scalability higher and maintainability easier. And after the base architecture will be established, we will climb the step towards advanced SysOps. First of all, we, we will implement the feature to collect some crowd data and job data widely. After that, we we want to make the good effect by using these many data. For example, decision of the destination server to execute job automatically and specifying points of failure in the service automatically. Currently, we have not achieved the second step yet, but 
we continue to this approach. In this base, base roadmap, we are planning to develop for high for these issues for high crops 1.0. Improve the base architecture as I described in the pr previous slide. And the, and the implement the more powerful AWS discovery plugin. This, prog this plugin will discover the not only configuration information, but also metrics information. AWS EC2 and RDS, ELB, CloudWatch, and other service, services. Please, please look forward to release it. At the earliest, it will be released at the next spring. Okay, if you if you are interested to in my talk, even a little, please contact us. This mailing list or a GitHub repository, this high crops repository. Please send issues or a pull request. Anything okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Any question? Okay, so thank you for your talk. I'm maybe a little bit interested about the technical details. How did you make this integration? Did you use Zabbix API or you communicate with Zabbix differently? Did you use Zabbix API? Zabbix API, yes. Mm -hmm. All tools use Zabbix API. Ah. Okay, okay, thank you. 